Everybody's taking a look at this video and everyone's, you know, wondering and, and debating, is this good parenting, bad parenting? Uh, take a look now, Tommy Jordan, and, and what, you know, what made him do what he did? It was this letter, this letter that his daughter posted on Facebook. Take a look again from, on YouTube. Tommy Jordan, the dad, reading the letter that his daughter posted for the world to see. This is called To My Parents, by the way. To my parents, I'm not your damn slave. It's not my responsibility to clean up your We have a cleaning lady for a reason. Her name is not If you want coffee, get off your and make it yourself. If you want a garden, shovel the fertilizer yourself. Don't sit back on your and watch me do it. I have no idea how I have a life. I'm going to hate to see the day when you get too old to wipe your and you call me asking for help. I won't be there. Sign your kid. A lot of controversy surrounding this dad, and with that controversy comes a, a, a reported visit from uh, Child Protective Services. Also, uh, police. Did they do an investigation? Well, we spoke with the local sheriff. He said they didn't need to investigate because there was no crime committed there. 253,000 likes, only 22,000 dislikes. John Harrell, uh, if you were called to that house, would you open up a file on this guy? Well, the key question, Vinny, the Child Protective Services would want to ask was, is there any abuse or neglect or harm done to this child? Now, once they look at that, they're also going to look at, all right, uh, was this child nearby when the father shot the bullets into the laptop? Because you would hope that parents, if they're angry, if they're using a gun, wouldn't have a child nearby. Now, we'd also want to look at, was there a pattern of any mental abuse? It's difficult to prove. The key criteria would be, how is the child doing? But we'd also look at, was there a pattern of derogatory things that were said to the child? So several things that we'd want to look at. Uh, certainly, it depends on what we hear when we get that initial call and what questions we ask and what information we find out. I want to read for you uh, Dad's response. This is from his Facebook page, you know. And here's the question. Would he do anything differently? This is what Dad wrote. I'd not be smoking a cigarette. I'd have worn my silver belly Stetson, not my Tilly hat, and I'd probably have cleaned my boots. No regrets from this dad.